Don't worry. Big Daddy will help you. Welcome back to Medieval Dynasty for Dummies. We're going to talk about the workshop and the well. The reason we're talking about both today is that Big Daddy could easily get a bucket of water within five seconds. So let's get right into it. There are three workshops that you can get. The first workshop is the first tier and the one we're going to focus on today. The workshop requires 10 stone or 8 logs if the workshop is on an elevated surface. The framing requires 8 logs. The rest of the building will require 12 logs and 32 straw. To complete the rest of our production line, from our woodshed to our workshop to our well, let's look at the bucket. If you go over to the workbench, you will find wicker and wooden. We are not going to focus on any of the vases or flowers. In here, you will find the bucket. To unlock the blueprint, you require 10 production points. The bucket requires 100 coins to unlock the blueprint. There are a lot of items in the workshop. For this video, we'll just focus on the bucket, wicker basket, the wooden bowl, and the simple torch. And I'll briefly explain some of the others. First, let's talk about the bucket. The bucket can be produced with two planks. The bucket is used for water and milk. Not that kind of milk, Big Daddy. The wooden vial will be used for potions. The wooden bowl will be used at your kitchen for majority of the food items that you can create. The wooden plate is used for one of the items that you can produce in the kitchen. And the rest of these items, from the wooden cup to the wicker baskets, are used for decoration, except for the torches. The torches you can produce and use them for lighting your way in the dark. All of these other items here can be made and either sold or used as decorations. The only wicker basket that I'm aware that you can produce something else with is the large wicker basket. If you go into furniture and decorations, workstations and farming, you'll find that you can use the large wicker basket for the defeathering station. Big Daddy will make a wicker basket and then I'll show you how to place it. Here's a small wicker basket that Big Daddy has just made. Like any of the other items in the game, you can drop one and place it down wherever you want. Let's put it next to our chest. The small wicker basket costs 50 coin to unlock the blueprint and the wooden bowl costs 100. We're going to unlock that now. It requires one log to make. The bucket and the wooden bowl is going to be the majority of your production, especially at the start of the game, as this bucket is going to be used to produce water and the wooden bowl will later be used in the kitchen to produce meals but that's for another time the well requires 10 logs and 16 straw at the well you can only craft two items one is our bucket of water which is going to be your vast bulk of providing water for your people and the water skin is simply a water bottle filled with water and is quite frankly quite useless and the reason for that is because if you look at the map you have access to water almost everywhere Big Daddy's going to show you how to get water from the well. Since we've already crafted our bucket, we're going to go craft and go bucket of water. But how do we go about automating that? Don't worry, he's already got another lady ready to work. If we go into our workshop in the management, we've assigned Weslava, Weslava, Slava. Slava is going to produce buckets for us. Like all our buildings, we go over to tasks and we're going to make her produce buckets. So in order to produce one bucket per day, we need to put this on 10%. We're also going to assign some work to the rest of the items on this list. You may be asking why am I only producing one bucket per day? And that is simply because each bucket of water produces approximately 160 water for your village. If you go into your management, you can see that the demand per day is 90. That means one bucket per day is more than sufficient to provide water for the villagers. Any more production of water is a waste of resources and time. Once our village gets a lot bigger and we make use of the kitchen, we will be using a lot more water and milk. Right now we don't need to produce any more as we do not have the kitchen producing any meals. So to see the workshop and the well in action, we're going to check the next day and see if she's produced the bucket and the wicker baskets as well as all the wooden bowls that we could ask for 
brand new day and Miro is sitting in Big Daddy's supervisor chair. So we're going to go into our resource storage. We're going to check how many buckets we've got. Two buckets that she has made. I did leave it for a day and a bit. So now that we've got the buckets, we can now get Casimir and automate the well. You can have it pre-set up. They will start producing the items once they have the resources. But just for this video, I just want to demonstrate um, each step as we go through. You can also see the wicker basket she's produced and the wooden bowl. So let's go over to Casimir. You can see he's doing nothing because he's got no jobs. Go into his assignments. I did put his assignments on 0%. That was just so we could see how much he would produce on a particular percentage for his workload intensity, as well as how much buckets of water he would produce based on his skill level. So we're going to increase this. You can see straight away it's saying working. That's because we have buckets in storage. And what I'm going to do is I'm only going to increase this percentage. So the total output is approximately one. So I'm just going to put it so it's just above one bucket. The reason I'm doing that is because I don't like to assign too much work to one particular item if you're not going to use it. It's the next day again and we're back with Casimir and we're going to check our storage and see if he's produced that bucket of water. So if we go on our management we can already see that we've got 162 water. So I've got one bucket of water already 2 of 10 has been used. Bucket of water provides 20 water per item. Because you get 10 in a bucket of water, that means it's 200 water per bucket. You can also see the condition is declining. This is one of the reasons why I don't overproduce my buckets of water. As if they don't consume the water quick enough, it would be a waste. My recommendation is to not have the well automated until you have enough people to demand the amount of water that will be produced from the well. And that's how you provide water for your villagers. Automating from the woodshed, to the workshop, to the well. In the next video, we will look at some of the other items a little bit more in depth, as well as how we can make money off of these items. Since we've finished the well, we're going to tick this one off. We're also going to tick off the woodshed, as well as our workshop. So we've completed our woodshed, our well, and our workshop. I've just done a quick flow diagram with these as well as a couple of other buildings just to show you how the buildings interact with each other. 